next we have a guy that I've never met before. Um, his name is Ken Rawlings. He works at Indiana University, some other Indiana University. Um, Ken is senior systems analyst to high performance. Hey, wait a minute, that's my group. Ken Rawlings, senior systems analyst in the high performance uh, file systems group at Indiana University. He's active in the continuum. God, I just can't even talk, you know? Maybe it's, it's uh, I haven't had a beer. Maybe I have a problem. Maybe I should, no, sorry. <clears throat> I'll try again. He's active in the con continuing improvement of Luster.org and, and serves as the open SFS liaison to the Luster.org working group. Um, Ken's a great guy. I've known him for years. Uh, when he came to work for me, uh, he was reasonably new to Luster, and one of the things that I thought would be useful to have him sort of uh, work on was luster.org, and I think he's done a great job. So, you know, thanks for your contributions uh, on, on the, the site and to the community. I look forward to hearing your talk. Ken Rawlings. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate that, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you all today. So, what I'd like to talk to you about is basically what can we do to make luster.org a better resource for all of us? It's a great resource as it is, but it can, like anything, can be improved. So the luster.org working group is tasked with making this happen. Uh, we, we're, we manage the luster.org web domain and its associated content. It's a joint effort uh, between OpenSFS and EOFS. Uh, I'm, as Steve said, is the, uh, is the, uh, I'm the uh, technical liaison from OpenSFS. Um, an early, well, a pronunciation, Aurelion de Gaumont uh, is the uh, liaison from EOFS. We coordinate our activities on the Luster Working Group wiki page, uh, as well as we have an active mailing list. Uh, in addition to this, we hold regular calls. Um, and one of the things you'll hear me say throughout this talk is, please join up, join this mailing list, and join in the conversation. So. I like to think of these as the three pillars of, uh, uh, of Luster.org as it currently stands. Um, we have a main site that was running on, uh, on WordPress. Um, if you have, haven't had experience with WordPress, it's become a surprisingly capable tool for managing sites. Um, we're moving towards uh, uh, expanding things quite a bit, and so far we've had very, very good luck with it. Um, additionally, uh, we, we uh, use uh, MediaWiki for the Luster Wiki. Uh, which is the uh, software that runs. Uh... You know, it's funny. For some reason, I always I keep Wikipedia. I don't know why. I always keep uh, um, pausing on that. But anyway, uh, it's the site that runs Wikipedia. I have a fair amount of experience with wikis, and I have to tell you that when I first started uh, with MediaWiki, I, I sort of had some preconceived notions about how powerful wikis could be. Um, and I'll talk a little bit later about this, that wikis have come a long way. And one of the things in conversations back and forth with people, and I think one of the things that, that we want to have is more documentation. And a lot of documentation has traditionally been in PDF form, et cetera. Um, I think we're getting pretty close with, with wikis to the point that we can put more information, than, more documentation than we might have expected in the past um, up, on, up on the wiki. Finally, we have uh, Mailman running the three, three main mailing lists. Uh, Luster to Announce, which is a low volume list of, of, of uh, announcements. Uh, Luster Discuss, which if any of you here aren't already subscribed to Luster Discuss, you know, as Steve said, I'm relatively new to Luster myself, I can tell you that Luster Discuss is one of the things that really helped get me up to speed. There's a lot of really good traffic there, um, and a lot of really smart people answering a lot of questions. Um, additionally, uh, Luster Develop for following development activity. Um, there was something, I wrote this down and I wanted to make sure I, uh, I mentioned it. Uh, from Developer Day yesterday, which is, is that don't be afraid to use Luster Devel. Um, it's a, a, a very good resource, and it's, it's not used as much as, uh, as we might like, so please subscribe and post. So talking, going on, uh, uh, continuing about wikis, uh, well, also this is sort of an old foundation piece of, of Luster.org. Um, this is the old Luster wiki uh, that was, uh, uh, we transitioned away from this a few years ago. It's basically, it's a static site now. But at one time, it was uh, one of the uh, main repositories for, for Luster information. Um, but as it is now, we have an agreement to not change it. As I said, uh, it's static. And it, the, the way that it's set up, uh, it has to run on its own, own VM. So it's, it's costing us a fair amount of money, a fair amount of, fair amount of uh, money every month. 
So what we'd like to do is, is retire it in the not too distant future. But as I said, it was, it was a, one of the main repositories of information for a long time. And so we, you know, we don't just want to, 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 to get rid of it. You know, we, we want to transition the, the, the information from it that's, uh, uh, that's pertinent going forward. Um, and I'll talk about that on the, the project for that on the next slide. Um, but I wanted to mention that none of the information on that site is going away completely. Um, we, we will preserve it on some level um, in downloadable form. So uh, as a project to make this happen, uh, we started uh, the Luster Wiki uh, migration. Uh, the first thing we did, when I was starting uh, with Luster, I personally found a little bit of confusion uh, with the, the information on the old Wiki site and, and be, be getting aware of the fact that it was uh, um, not necessarily current. Uh, so we placed a notice on every page of the old wiki saying, hey, uh, this is the information is likely out of date. Uh, here's a link to the new wiki. Please go there. Then we created the Luster Wiki migration. And, and what we're basically doing here is going step by step through all of the old wiki pages um, and saying, hey, you know, is this something we can just move over at its current? Uh, is this something that needs minor updates? Uh, or is this something that needs a, a pretty serious technical review? And we, find, we found on this project, well, while doing this, I mean, we, we've made a lot of progress. You know, we've moved many pages and, and hundreds of attachments. But there are a fair number of pages up there. And if there's time later, I'll, I'll go up and uh, take a quick look at the page with you. But there's a lot of pages that need review. And we really need your help to make that happen. Along the lines of booking migrations, so there's a period. So the, the new Luster wikis have been running, I think, about a year and a half now. Um, so the, during the period that the old wiki was static, but before the new wiki came online, uh, HPDD uh, took its place. So there's a fair amount of community content up on the HPDD wiki. Um, we're coordinating with uh, HPDD uh, to basically go through and, and figure out, okay, what here is community content, is, is applicable to community content, what here is, is, is Intel specific, um, and work together to, to get that, uh, to potentially migrate those pages over to uh, the Luster wiki. So, um, one of the challenges uh, with wikis, uh, as I, I, you know, I was talking about Wikipedia earlier. Um, I know for me, one of the main ways that I get to Wikipedia pages is through web searches. I don't often go to the front page of, uh, of Wikipedia. Um, and that we have, we have sort of a similar situation uh, with the Lustre Wiki is, is that how do you, you know, if you know what you're looking for and you're going through for a web page and you're doing something targeted, cool. But if you just want to get some, you know, you have sort of a general idea in your mind, uh, how can you, how can you uh, find this information? So what we did is we started the wiki categorization project. And with this was to, it was a project to go through for every page up on the Luster wiki, come up with a, a, a category that's applicable for it, um, then, then take those and take those up to the main page of luster.org um, uh, to, to, aid in, to aid in discovery. And this is by no means a comprehensive list of, of Luster categories, but this, this is what we came up with, and this is what's, uh, uh, what's up there right now. Um, as we get more articles, uh, we, will, uh, you know, we will expand this. Um, and this is, you know, I think just you know, the idea of, of Luster topics in general um, is a discussion to have, you know, how, what are the, um, how do you sort of break down uh, Luster from sort of a topic level? So in addition to the, the three main pieces that I was talking about, uh, we've recently added a, a few more uh, subdomains. The first is uh, the recent work by uh, Lunson Rational Laboratories uh, for building the independent, an independent build farm. If you were at uh, Chris and uh, Giuseppe's talk um, earlier today, it's, it's really neat work. Um, it's uh, OpenSFS hosted build farm up on uh, Amazon Web Services. And I, I can tell you the first time uh, that, uh, that, I, that I saw this, so if, if you haven't been yet, I highly recommend going up to the to this, to, to build.luster.org um, and clicking on the waterfall link. Um, it, it gives you a nice excuse for all of these, for all of these distributions, uh, this, the status of them. Um, and that, you know, having, especially seeing you know, Ubuntu there, uh, you know, one of the things, and I'll, I'll talk about this a little more later, but we have sort of back and forth you know, trying to find resources that, that are helpful for it's people that are, are very experienced with the luster, but also people that are new to it. I can tell you, many people I know, myself included, uh, their first uh, experience uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, Linux was through Ubuntu, uh, so it was it's, it's nice to see. Uh, so uh, talking back and forth uh, with the folks over at LNL, uh, we're hoping to have uh, locally built packages uh, up on luster.org in the not too distant future. That's very exciting. Uh, as I said, if you uh, didn't get a chance to see uh, Chris and Giuseppe's talk earlier today, definitely check it out. The second is doc.luster.org. Uh, this came about uh, because uh, Richard Hunwood over in HPDD contacted us. And basically, the Luster manual uh, is, as, as, 
the way it's, the way it's built. Um, basically, the, the, the place where it ends up being isn't crawlable uh, by uh, uh, web, uh, web crawlers. Um, and this, this is by design. It has everything to do with the Lustre Manual specifically, but just due to this, the, the whole system. Um, and so uh, what we did to alleviate this is that we've created docfluster.org. Uh, we go up and we grab a current copy of the manual uh, every day um, and have made that available. Uh, and uh, so now uh, the, the, Lustre, uh, the Lustre Manual is uh, available on web searches. This, you're welcome. Um, the, just, I just want to talk briefly about documentation. I think we'll have time, hopefully, I'll have a little bit of time to talk about this later as well. But one of the, so there's, 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 there's information that goes, that it makes sense to fit up on the wiki, but then there's also uh, documentation that does make sense uh, to keep, at least currently, standalone. But the, looking for what are sort of, what are sort of like, the, what, are the, what is the canonical um, luster documentation? Right, um, and these I, I, I'd like to uh, thank thanks to you for people. I've, I've been having conversations with people up until this point. I have a couple more ideas, but the, the, the two big pieces, the additional ones we found are the understanding of file, Lustre file system and its internal a document that uh, Oak Ridge and um, Sun worked on, um, and the uh, Lustre protocol documentation work done uh, with uh, by HP, uh, Intel HPDD and associated with Ocean OpenSFS. Um, be interesting to hear additional suggestions uh, people have that as a sort of like canonical list, and we'll, we'll find various ways to, to make these available in multiple places up on luster.org. So, speaking a little bit about the main site itself, uh, there are four main sections. Uh, one, one of the, the struggles that we, well, I shouldn't say struggle, but one of the, uh, the, the, the things that's, that's sort of tricky about working on, on a front page to a site is, once again, you want to make something that's appealing to new users, but you also want it to be useful for people like yourself who have a lot of luster experience. So we're actually working right now on, mainly on the What's Here section. That's the, right up at the top. Um, in exactly the sort of thing where finding this balance is important. The second, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, we've uh, surfaced the uh, wiki categories, and so there's links to the wiki and the, the categories I was speaking of. Uh, we now have also links uh, to information about uh, the current feature release, maintenance release, and the underdevelopment release. Uh, and then finally, uh, upcoming and uh, recent events. Uh, just updated this today, uh, uh, LAD16 uh, was recently announced. I believe I've got this, it's, it's up on the page, but I believe it's uh, September 20th and 21st this year. If there's other information uh, that you feel would be very helpful to have on the front page, please let us know. So I spoke earlier about the, the, you know, the, the ramping up and, and the, uh, you know, getting people up to speed with Lustre. Uh, along those lines, uh, we, we're uh, efforting uh, guides, uh, guides slash how-tos along the lines of the uh, Lungs how-tos. Uh, there are three that we have uh, that, that, that are definitely going to happen. Um, the first is getting started with Lustre. Um, this is, this is in, in, in gathering um, suggestions from people. This is one of the ones that has come up again and again. It's basically the idea of starting from a base uh, system, uh, I'm sorry, a base uh, a Linux install, uh, and going there all the way up to where you're, you're successfully mounting a client to, to, a, to a up and running Lustre server. Um, then from there, with, from, from, from that uh, installation that you have, basic Lustre administration um, uh, step by step. So, and if there's time later, we'll, we'll talk about this a little bit more as well, but what, one of the things uh, uh, that we found is that uh, there seems to be two uh, sort of like wider, wide categories of, of information to target. Uh, first is uh, towards administrators, and second is towards developers. So going down the, uh, the path of trying to uh, provide uh, information for beginning developers, um, uh, or collaboration with working with Andrew Elston and HPDD um, on a Lustre protocol guide. Uh, and the basic idea here uh, is that going in and do, performing an action in Lustre uh, with Wireshark uh, uh, and, uh, and you know, collecting uh, RPC, info, as I should say, so going and doing an operation then collecting RPC data from it um, and analyzing it with Wireshark and also debug information um, is, a good, is a good way to go in and start to get a feel for uh, uh, places in the code uh, and sort of learn about what parts of the code are exercised. Um, I talked to several, uh, uh, several developers. I'd want to take a, take a brief aside here, because this is just, just during the, the, the course of, of, of log. There seems to be two sort of, and, and if, you're, if you're developers and you, you fall outside of this, please let me know. There seem to be two general categories uh, how people got to, up to speed with Lustre. The first is bottom up, which is along, along these lines. Uh, but then there are also developers uh, that, that prefer coming in from sort of a, a design document on down uh, approach. Um, and that would be something that we'd very much like to, uh, to work with people on as well. Uh, plenty of potential 
uh, guides. I think one of them, and you, this has come up multiple times just even today, so I wanted to mention it, is the idea of, of a luster lexicon, essentially. Uh, not from an, an admin perspective, because I think we have some, some decent tools on, on that, or decent uh, guides on that so far, but from an understanding luster at a deep level, right? What do, you know, if you take a look at the directory tree, what do all of the acronyms mean, right? Uh, and, and we have this information in various places and various mailing lists, but multiple people I've talked to have mentioned that this would be something that would be very useful um, to have as a reference and to help get up to speed. Uh, these these are, are, are not easy to write. We could definitely uh, use as much help as you all are, uh, can give us on these. And also, if you have any suggestions for guides that you think would be helpful uh, to, get, to get up and running, please let us know. So one, one of the things that we found as well is that, uh, as I was saying earlier, uh, MediaWiki is proving to be a surprisingly um, capable uh, system uh, for, for, for surprisingly co uh, complex documentation. Oh yeah, just, just, it's just a, as a quick aside, uh, when we started the Wiki uh, uh, migration project, my original thought is we were gonna have to use an online um, spreadsheet uh, because I'd have to, I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh, later why. Um, but as it turns out, uh, MediaWiki has surprisingly uh, uh, advanced capabilities um, that allow us to do collaborative work and sorting tables and, and all sorts of things. Um, it, it, it's worked out great and get all the advantages of wikis and it's all on uh, OpenSFS resources. So what we want to do is, is move more and more of uh, information to the wiki over time, have the main site be more of a jumping off point. Um, this does all sorts of uh, great things. The, one, one of the nicest is you know, the wiki es essentially, it, well, inherently allows easy group collaboration. Um, one challenge here currently is, is a, there's a, a quite, quite a visual difference uh, between the, the two sites, so it can be a little jarring uh, clicking on a wiki page, so we don't want to move uh, too many things over there quite yet, uh, but both WordPress and uh, um, MediaWiki are powerful um, and, and flexible enough that I think we're going to be able to converge them over time. So as I spoke earlier, uh, you know, finding ways to make Lustre.org a, a better community resource for, all, for us all is very important. Um, there's a lot of hard, you know, there's a hard, a lot of hard-earned knowledge, hard-earned knowledge and wisdom out there. Um, a lot of it is is, is up on the, the site already, but some of it is in in all your heads and some internal documentation. Let's try and get all of that in one, as much of that impossible as possible in one place as we can. But there are certain things that aren't going to make sense to, uh, um, to, to 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 bring up, to bring up on Lustre.org directly. So let's catalog and link to that. And just in general, we want to work with all of you to make the documentation, well, the, uh, the information up on Lustre.org better and better. Um, as Steve uh, said uh, this, this morning, uh, many hands make light work. The more, the, the more we all work on this, the easier it is for all of us and the more and, and the, uh, the more the benefits that we all get. Finally, I was speaking of uh, internal documentation. If you have internal documentation that you're willing to share, even if it's not something you would necessarily think of uh, offhand as being something that's ready for publication, this is the sort of thing that please let us know. We'd like to work with you and, and find ways to make this uh, something that uh, can, can be useful to everybody. So I was speaking about uh, contributing to the wiki. If you don't already have a wiki account, please go up and create one. Uh, there's, every wiki page has uh, a link up in the upper right-hand corner, and there's also a um, link here. Uh, just to let you know, if you've gone up and tried to make a, a, wiki, a, a wiki account before and found the process frustrating, we've recently uh, streamlined the process, so please go up and try again. Um, and if there's a topic you're interested in that's not there, don't go on, create the page. Um, one of the, uh, you know, from, from, from uh, experienced people in the Fluster community, from the beginning, were telling me, hey, don't, you know, don't worry about getting things perfect. Just get something up there and iterate on it. And so you know, I did that uh, myself for uh, the Robinhood Policy Engine. We've been uh, taking a look at it at IU for a little while now. Um, there wasn't a, a Lester Wiki page, so I created one. And it's still a relatively small page, but you know, adding to it over time, um, it, it's become a useful, uh, a useful resource for me. And now it's up there, and, and it's a useful resource, potentially a useful resource for other people. And it can be expanded on by other people. As I was saying before, the fewer places to, to look for community information, the better, right? We'd like to have Lustre.org be sort of a jumping off point, uh, but also a, a place to hold uh, binaries, documentation, these sorts of things. 
the wiki for community uh, or, uh, edited documentation, and then mailing lists and RSC for questions. But I spoke earlier of wanting to, I, whenever, whenever we hear something multiple times, it's something that's, that's hey, let's, 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 let's look at this in, in more detail. And in discussions with people, the idea of having a Lustre knowledge base, Q&A style site, or a community forum is something that's come up multiple times. And we've done some evaluation here, and there, there are some good technical resources, or technical uh, solutions for this. But if this is something that you find interesting, I think this is the sort of thing that kind of needs a champion, right? Or a couple, right? That sort of like the care and feeding of this kind of site, right? Um, and if this is something that, that you feel would, would be a, a great value to the community, please talk to us. And it's not, something, it's not like this is gonna be a full-time job or anything, but I think this is something that, that would require a little bit of, of, of ongoing work. One of the struggles we have is getting the getting word out about Lester.org and, and uh, the the uh, uh, material up there. We have a lot of great uh, existing resources for getting uh, getting information out to people that are already in the Lester community. But how how do we reach new people? Um, one potential is blogs, RSS. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at is doing a, a planet-style site, a basically a, a, a one-page site that aggregate that aggregates all of the Lester um, blog um, posts. The thing about RSS is I'm a huge fan of RSS and have been for a long time, but it, 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 ever since uh, Google Reader was shut down, it just doesn't seem to be, uh, uh, it, it does seem to be in decline. And if, if anybody's seen uh, things to the, uh, in the opposite direction on there, please let us know. I think that's a, uh, it, it's, it's, a it's a wonderful uh, decentralized way to, to get information out there. But as we all know, there's, there's been a pretty serious move to social media. Um, the, the site that we're, we're currently evaluating, it looks the most promising, um, is Twitter. Um, I can tell you, uh, I found out some of the, the uh, things that were going on uh, at this conference uh, in the previous weeks up on the OpenFS uh, SFS Twitter feed. Um, so we're looking at having a, a Lustre.org Twitter feed as well. But once again, if uh, you all have any suggestions there, please let us know. So as I, I was talking earlier about the Lustre Wiki migration, and one of the things that we learned uh, during Lustre Wiki migration is, is that there's... As we all know, Lustre is a, it's a, it's a complex system um, in the sort of most general sense of the word. It, it, it does a lot, um, and it's, it's not an easy thing to fit all in your head, right? There are a lot of moving parts. And as, as a result, uh, if it, when, when you have a, a documentation uh, effort for it, it's going to cover a lot of different topics with a lot of details about those topics. And what we ran into with the, uh, the wiki migration is we, the people that were, uh, that were doing the reviews, we don't necessarily have all of the knowledge to, 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 to go through and figure out, hey, is this something uh, that's, that, that's currently relevant? And are the, the, the design decisions and the various uh, technical aspects of this still current? So what, what, what we're doing is uh, starting uh, a topic ownership. Uh, uh, well, basically, we're trying to enlist people to own topics uh, for for uh, information up on Lustre.org. Basically, you serve as an expert on a topic, do things first off, helping us uh, migrate uh, the wiki pages, figuring out, hey, this is uh, something that's, um, that, 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 that this, this, this is what's, what's, what's wrong with this, or hey, talk to other people to make, to make uh, changes in this area, and also to create new content. Um, I want to thank uh, Justin Miller is uh, the first person uh, we, can, we, we can announce. Uh, Justin Miller at Cray uh, has volunteered to uh, uh, be the testing uh, uh, topic owner. So thank you very much, Justin. That's very appreciated. Uh, we, we need uh, uh, many, many more. Uh, so if, uh, if there are any topics up there, there are things that, uh, that you're, you're uh, interested in and uh, wouldn't mind helping us out, we'd love to hear from you. I think it'd be great to have multiple people uh, for each of these topics. And just to let you know, this isn't the sort of thing where you know, we're expecting like an hourly commitment from anybody or something like this. We basically just need somebody to, uh, to, to, to mail and, and to, when you have time, uh, to help us with, uh, with new content. So, why get involved? I think of it as two main reasons. The first is altruistic. Your knowledge really is valuable to the community, right? One of the things is that there's, there's, there's things that in your head, and it's funny, just even talking to people during the conference, there's specific things that, that have helped me that, that I could have, that would have taken me, well, I would say, is, there are things in your head that could save somebody else hours of time. And I can tell you in discussions with, with, with you all, that's happened to me already. You can also help expand human knowledge. I think that's one of the things that's great about Lester is that Lester really does uh, make a difference in the world. Um, and just as contributing to the, uh, the code base, is important, so is contributing to the uh, um, 
uh, meta information essentially about Lustre itself. The second is enlightened self-interest. Uh, Having information there, I, I think one of the, the previous uh, presenters talked about uh, ha for, forgetting things every, uh, you know, after six months. Anything that you put up on, on the Lester Wiki is there for you in the future. Um, and I think one of the things that we all struggle with is workforce development. HPC is a, is, a, is a difficult thing to get people up to speed in. The more information that we have to help each other get uh, new people up to, uh, uh, up, and, uh, uh, up to speed, the more uh, it's helpful for all of us. So, how can you get involved? First, as I was just saying, please own a topic. Second, if there's not information up, uh, up, on, uh, up on the wiki already, create some content. Assist with the wiki migration. I think I should have time to uh, go to that really quickly. Um, uh, if you've got internal material, uh, please uh, go and uh, take a look at it. Uh, please uh, send that along, uh, let us know. Uh, and finally, subscribe to the Alastair.org working group mailing list and uh, join the conversation. I want to do a quick thanks. You know, this, this is work that, that it, 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 takes a, it takes a group. Um, I want to say, give quick thanks to uh, Frank Rutke, Orléans de Gaumont, uh, Hugo Falter, Jen Franklin, Richard Friedman, Richard Hunwood, Justin Miller, Chris Marone, Steve Sims, Andrew Austin, everyone in the illustrative working group, um, and everybody that's provided suggestions and feedback. Um, it's, you've all made a, a real difference, and it's very much appreciated. So I was saying, please, uh, please join us on the uh, Lester Org uh, mailing list. Uh, sorry, yeah, Lester Org working group mailing list. Look forward to uh, speaking with you all over the conference. Um, let me just real quick before going QA, please go to the Lester Org Wiki migration page. Um, we've got, uh, there's a lot of uh, explanation here, but the thing that I wanted to show you all um, so we have all of the pages that are in need of review. Well, I'm sorry, this is all of the pages on the wiki, and then they, they have various statuses um, with uh, the various notes. Uh, there's, there's explanation up on the page, but the thing that, uh, that's pretty cool on Wikipedia is you can actually sort these. Um, so the place that we need, so you see we've got like top date move, you can see the uh, um, various statuses later, but to review. Uh, please take a look at the two review pages, and please help us out, we need your help. And with that, Oops, do I have? Let's see, I think I've got this right. Can I shift to four? Oops, well, I'll get it later. Um, thank you all, and if, if you have any questions, please let me know. Any questions for Ken? Ken, thanks. Uh, I mean, I, I, a tremendous amount of work has gone into where you're at right now, and uh, I mean, the take home for me is, you know, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of knowledge in this room. There will be people who will come after us that will want to know what we know. Uh, right now, there's no Vulcan mind meld. Uh, you know, <laughs> maybe, you know, gene therapy. Uh, mind could use some. Anyway, uh, give Ken a hand. B both with your hands and and <laughs>